Hi there. Today we are talking all about fireplaces and I am going to show you one of our entries for a makeover May and explain the size that I'm going to select for her wall and we'll take a look at the choices for her. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you once again our size guide because I find it so handy and helpful for you to visualize what I'm talking about. So you can get this size guide for free at latitudesgallery.com. So don't forget to get over there and get that. But let me explain the three different ratios and why all three actually work over a fireplace and how you would pick which one. Uh, so most often I would say a two to one ratio is going to work best over a fireplace. And you can see that in this example here um, because it's matching the shape of the wall above the mantle, right? We've talked about that before, sizing art typically works best when you can match the shape of the wall. You don't always have to match it, but often it feels more cohesive that way. It fills the wall nicely and doesn't feel awkward or incomplete. So this is what that would look like on this wall, a two to one ratio and very likely a 30 by 60, like I said yesterday, the magic size, my very favorite. That chameleon size just works about anywhere. So let's take a look at the other ratios, this is a three to one ratio. And if you have a very tall mantle, then you might wanna select a three to one ratio. Or if you have something like this scenario where they've got wainscoting going all the way across, and then the shape of the wall left over above all of that is, as you can see, a three to one ratio. It's short and very wide. So that's when a pano would work really well. Uh, and the last ratio is the standard ratio. This is what comes out of the camera. It's what we think of when we think of a photographic shape. That's um, very standard. It's a three to two ratio. And that's what that would look like. You would often use that to go directly over the fireplace itself. Very often those fireplace boxes, see this black thing right here? Those are usually somewhere around a 27 by 40 size. So depending on your ceiling height and how tall, that mantle is, you would either size the art also 27 by 40 directly above, or in this case, we're balancing out the wood on the sides of that mantle, and we're going one size up. We're doing the 48 by 32. So let's take a look. Ooh, I always forget to close that out before I make it go away for you. Now let me add uh, the room entry for today so that you can see that. Bear with me a second. Sue, there you are. Let's pull her in. And this is Sue's room. Thank you so much for entering our Makeover Made giveaway, Sue. There are only three days left. So everybody who hasn't sent it in, hurry up because uh, there's only so much more renderings that I can do for you. Um, let's take a look at the choices for Sue. Now, Sue said she wanted something scenic. She wanted nature or anything that is our beautiful photography. Well, we got you covered, Sue, because there are lots of different scenics and nature scenes for you. Now, let's take a look at her shape again. Do you see how this is just like the example I showed you first, where the two to one ratio is going to work best because the shape is roughly twice the width versus the height. So let's take a look at our choices. I really love in her space, she's got this very popular palette of warm brown tones, soft blue tones, and taupey grays. So we've got all these beautiful neutrals with the soft blue. And we've looked at a couple of rooms like that in Makeover May. Um, so I know it's really popular right now. So let's take a look at some new choices. This is Big Sur. And I really love this. This one's brand new. Um, so I kind of can't get enough of it right now. Let me see if you can see if I zoom it in a little more for you there. Beautiful rocks. I love that the golden colors in this hillside um, work with her floor really well. The espresso color in the hillside in the background works with her fireplace. And the lovely patterns of clouds in the sky work with her soft blues and whites. It's an easy one for me, actually. I think that might be my favorite. Uh, let's take a look at some other choices. Now we've seen sea Seaside Sunrise in a couple other rooms this makeover May, and that is because it is a tried and true favorite for rooms with this beautiful warm brown color and soft blues and whites. It just looks amazing when you pull that floor color up onto the wall. It looks cohesive like you planned it all out in advance and you didn't have to. 
Uh, this one is shipwrecks. And I don't know if we've seen shipwrecks at all this season, but the soft sand colors work really well. And the sky, once again, is mimicking that blue and white. And Cambria Cove. It brings in a little more of the greens than I think her space has. So if she were to go with this one, I would say bring in some plants and balance out that green throughout the space. But other than that, it's got the golds and the espresso colors and the blues and whites. Covers it all perfectly. And then if we're talking no um, beach or ocean, <laughs> then Tahoe is gorgeous in her space. Again, with the plants, I would just pop in a couple of live plants. But Tahoe is an exquisite view. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that was Yosemite. Yosemite, this one's Tahoe. Um, the reason I'm liking Tahoe is because it has a lot going on. And so by her request, it makes me think that what she wants is something to get lost in. She wants a scenic and nature. And a, a lot of times when we're looking for that, what we're looking for is to immerse ourselves in stuff we don't get to see all the time and ground our bodies with our spaces. And so I really like this one for you, Sue. Let's look at my last pick. This is another version. I believe it's also Tahoe. I could be wrong. Uh, this is a new one as well. So if we were to go through and narrow down the favorites, it's definitely going to be this Tahoe image for me. Uh, I don't know. There's something about Yosemite having rocks and then this over this cool gray and white rocky fireplace. And then you've got the gray and white rocks of Yosemite. So I think this is my winner. Let's just size it down so you know what I'm talking about. When you're sizing for your wall, you do want to make sure you're leaving breathing room. We don't want to fill this whole wall. We don't want that. That's going to feel, I'll just show you, that's going to feel really crowded. So, and it's overwhelming. You just got this big block of, of a wall over here. So we do want to size it down. And I do recommend usually hanging pieces of art about eight inches to a foot above whatever you're hanging it above. So in this case, that's probably close to eight to 10 inches. You're gonna adjust that based on the circumstances of your space. So if it's over a sofa, you're probably going to want closer to that foot so that it gets close to eye level. But you also don't want it all the way up here. Like we want it to connect to that fireplace. That's gonna feel awkward if there's not enough breathing room above um, as, as what you need. The other thing you can do sometimes if we're really close to being centered vertically, you can also center it. If it's going to be just slightly off the, and it's going to feel awkward not having it centered vertically, then I would suggest centering vertically. But in this case, I like it roughly there, giving you a little bit of space to layer some pieces on the mantle. One thing I want to point out is it's okay if you have some items on the mantle that slightly overlap the art as long it's not as it's not the focal point of the art right there. So if we were covering if, some motorcycles, if we were covering up this mountain, I would say that's a hard no. But it's okay if we cover up just this bit right over here, maybe with a you know a, a nice tall candle or a photo frame of the family. Something like that would work. So those would be, oh, let me throw on a shadow just so you can see. I'm going to say that's my top pick for your room there, Sue. I hope that that was helpful. And if you have not submitted your entry in our Makeover May giveaway, I suggest you get over to latitudesgallery.com, click on Makeover May, and send that in. Before I go, I'll give you a tiny tour. I am in the gallery today. And so this is the Latitudes Gallery. Let me get my head out of it latitudes gallery and you can see all our cute little vignettes that we've created so hey there's the picture <laughs> so there's yosemite um so that you can see how to size artwork for your spaces i hope that that was helpful thanks again for watching and i look forward to sharing another room rendering with you next time have a great day